Okay, so I've always been obsessed with nonne, with Italian grandmothers. There's just something about them that I, I've always loved. In 2009, my dad and I had this idea. We were sitting in my nonna's basement, of course, in the kitchen, and he asked me, you know, what do you want to do with your life? Because, you know, I know you're studying to be a teacher, but you're going to be a terrible teacher. We all know. And I was like, really? You all know? That's weird. And and I just blurted out, I want to host a cooking show one day. That's the greatest job in the world. We started making shows. We had no idea what we were doing. I think that's the best way to do anything. Because if you wait until you think you're ready, until everything's perfect, you're never going to do anything. I'm kind of your quintessential Italian-American girl who's loud with the leopard. I mean, some people call me extra, but I'm just from Brooklyn. I grew up with my nonna living with us in the house. I wanted to share that with the world. I wanted to bring Italian grandmothers to everybody because everybody should have an Italian grandmother. They're, they're the best, that they love you in a certain way that your parents can't love you. There's something magical about being Italian American on a Sunday. You wake up with this joy to just cook and feed and be together and be loud and you never know when people are going to pass on or move away and the importance of Sunday dinner is such a tremendous part of my life and the way I grew up and I just want to be able to recreate that for everyone. Cooking with Nona Sunday dinners is going to be the Italian American Bible for creating a Sunday dinner spectacular. I'm Rosella. Buy the book. You want to.